I'm developing robots whose facial expressions mimic the expressions of humans and who have cognition so they can also understand what people are feeling and thinking and have a natural conversation with you and act kind of like people. My robots make facial expressions with very low power and in extremely human-like ways due to a material that I developed that I call frubber. And that is a contraction of face and rubber. And we developed this material with a set of techniques inspired by nature. We are mostly water, mostly liquid. So being filled with fluid allows our faces to move very easily. So when I started to develop these human-like robots, two things became extremely important. One was emulating the, the natural facial expressions of people. The second was emulating the natural cognition of people for these face-to-face -face interactions. If we can make computers that communicate in this naturalistic way, then we can get our point across very quickly. The machines wind up getting along with us and we understand the human mind much more effectively. These can be useful for not just entertainment, but also education, autism treatment. Who knows what else? I mean, this is, this is perhaps a revolutionary paradigm for human-computer interface. This is in the sense of humans and robots interacting, trying to understand the human biology of cognition and human-to-human -human perception with computational models of human cognition and emotion. In both of these ways, we are looking at biomimicry and how we can emulate what it means to be human in a machine.